Make sure you like this video as you are coming in. Make sure you like the video. Listen, we are back. Let's talk about Martell Hook Headed Hope. More people, you know, had things to say about the motion that he recently filed against his ex wife, Melody Cherie Rogers. Um, and then let's first, though, let's go through the history of this thing, honey. So it says, Martell Holt, known from reality TV show Love and Marriage Huntsville, has recently filed an appeal against his conviction for domestic violence harassing communications. He was convicted in Huntsville Municipal Court and given a 30-day suspended sentence along with 12 months of monitor probation. Additionally, there was a recent emergency motion filed by Melody Cherie, his ex-wife, in their ongoing custody dispute. This motion was to enforce previous court orders requiring Martell to undergo psychological evaluations and counseling with their minor son. As a result of the court's declarations, Martell is now at serious risk of losing his visitation rights to his children. He has been ordered to comply with the original order of weekly counseling immediately and participate in twice-monthly family counseling with his children. Failure to comply with this order will result in him losing his visitation rights. Martell must also pay Melody Cherise Seven thousand towards her legal fees. He must also schedule his remaining visits for his psychological evaluation. And my thing is, did he did he really get it? Because why are you filing motions? And this is all so he can deny and deflect and get out of taking any accountability, you guys, for his bad behavior towards his son towards hell all the kids right because all of them suffer okay so it, it's honey it's just a mess some mess he is sad sad child of people are still dragging martel hook headed hold martel furious with male security jason alleges that they are dating a mess. Why are you worried about it? Why Why is you worried about what this woman is doing? She ain't with you no more. Okay? She ain't with you no more. It's a mess. <laughs> Child, I've been looking at people's comments about this. When I tell you the people did not come to play, honey, they is dragging, okay? Dragging Martell hook at hole. He is bringing her to court just so he could see her. <laughs> this restraining order is driving him crazy. Yeah, narcissists, they don't like restraining orders. They don't like boundaries, period, because in their mind, they are entitled to you and you owe them something. Child of people is calling him triggered and unhinged. He is. He is a mess. A mess. Child, one person says the next time any of these 304s fix their mouths to say Melody needs to move on, get over that she met and etc. Their asses need to be cussed the hell out. Yes, they do. Yeah, cause y'all love saying Melody bitter and she ain't moved on. Ariane girl, come get your man, cause he's still pining after his ex wife, honey. And I know Ariane ain't gonna like that, honey. She gonna turn up on him. She gonna turn up. She gonna pull the whole, you can't see your son. Mm -mm, you can't see him this week. I'm upset. Y'all know the mothers that do that. <laughs> Another person says, this is where the judge should step in and set him straight in writing so it's clear that male's dating life has absolutely nothing to do with him. Absolutely. It ha yeah, it has nothing to do with him. But he's obsessive. This is how narcissists are. This is how they are. They will claim they don't want you. They'll cheat on you, lie to you, do a smear campaign. 
okay turn people against you and then they will turn around and do all of that blow up your whole relationship sabotage it put some uh ooga booga bitch before you they'll do all of that then turn around and stalk you and be all obsessed and child make it make sense okay make it make sense another person says how did hotel choose a broke bird over a smart money-making woman you can't control who she mess with fool i know that's right he's stupid though and it's so weird because um it's so weird i was just watching a podcast with b simone and stefan speaks and honey you ain't heard it from miss robinson but i think it's a little bit of a beef between stefan speaks and tony gaskins honey because tony gaskins think he know everything since he married and stefan speaks is single honey i thought i heard a little bit of shade thrown tony gaskins way honey but we will talk about that on another day honey okay we will talk about it on another day but um yeah stefan speaks mentioned that when men cheat they normally cheat down with the maid with the nanny okay with somebody that's available that's around they can't really handle the career-minded woman you know somebody that's very ambitious you know and have several different businesses and you know they at the top of their game he said that some of these men they don't like that but i say it's too damn bad shit need to be taking a page out of melody book you should have had melody uh help you study fool when y'all was married so you could pass the damn test fool okay a mess another person says and another one okay dj Khaled. Martel should mind his own business and worry about his relationships. He has his side chick around the children all the time. He's just scared of what Jason would do to him if he even tried to get close to Mel. He wants to get close to Mel so bad. Why he thinks he can control Melody's life is beyond belief. Well, you're dealing with a narcissist, so they are very arrogant. And he feels like, well, hell, she fell for my act before. I got her to marry me and have my babies. And then I switched up on her at the drop of a hat. You know, he feels like narcissists are very arrogant like that. They are. They feel like since they was able to fool you that one time, they feel like, yeah. And then he was able to cheat and and she kept giving him chance after chance. So he feels like that melody that was giving him them chances still exists. And he wants to bring her back to life, honey. And Melody said, honey, not today and tomorrow don't look good either. God told me to go, honey. Absolutely. And it's just like Cardi B and Offset. He done cheated on her so many times. Now he got the damn audacity to be all in his damn feelings because she slept with another man while she was pregnant, honey. Okay? She slept with another man while she was pregnant. Oh, well. Shit, you should have been taking care of your woman. Don't nobody feel sorry for you niggas. Okay? Don't nobody feel sorry for you. And Cardi, you should have been got the hell away from him. You should have never married him. Ladies, it will never work out with any man that's jealous of you. It will never work. It never works sleeping with the enemy. Okay, so when you see that behavior um, early on, him putting down your goals, your career aspirations, he's putting down the money you're making, your friends, he's trying to fight with people that are of the opposite sex of you, he's trying to get all that stirred up, okay? that's Those are red flags. And it should have been a big-ass red flag to Melody that this nigga couldn't pass that damn builder's license test. I would have been like, God damn, how dumb are you? Shit, okay. I told y'all, that's how these niggas is. They always trying to hold something. Okay, he need to hold that damn test and study and pass it. Shit. 
Miss Marlene, honey, need to get the girls, honey, up at the church. Get the girls and the guys, honey. <laughs> Y'all need to have some type of service, honey. Okay? Some type of Bible prayer group to get that man to pass that damn test. Child, just a mess. That's what his ass could be focused on. But no, the narcissist is forever, is forever trying to control you, trying to punish you, put you in your place, put you in lowest terms, make you question and doubt yourself. It's like you are up against such a evil entity. Okay, he's an agent of chaos. He a little Chucky, a little buddy. Okay. Absolutely. He a hook booger. <laughs> All right, honey, let's take a look at Martell's behavior, honey, from a clinical standpoint. Okay. They need to get this nigga a prescription, okay? But let's look at it. So when a narcissist sees you happy, he isn't jealous you're dating someone else. He's possessive and envious. You've endured jealousy when he didn't want you talking to your male colleague. Envious when a person doesn't have something or doesn't have it any longer and wants it. The real kicker is he's not envious that someone else has you or envious that he didn't treat you better. He's concerned this could make him look bad or make your new bow look better. Here's why. Supply. You provided a narcissistic supply of emotions, good and bad, to fuel his ego. When you are no longer in contact, he loses part of his control and his power. Control. He knows he can't control you to his every whim when you're with someone else. This is another important reason to stay no contact even when you have healed from the initial abuse. Peacocking. When he's staring at your social media couples posts, he's not even looking at you. The narcissist is categorically picking apart your partner and examining all the ways he's superior to the new guy. Remember, he was telling uh, Melody, do better, do better. Remember when he was out taking pictures and record Melody and her date when they was out some time ago? Okay, it's like crazy. Mm -mm -mm. to a narcissist you are never really out of the picture you're always a potential supply source in his medicine cabinet of cruelness oh child and that's why so many men that's why he put that baby in Ariane. that way she'll be stuck with him and never get away and like a dummy she over there holding on. Okay, holding on. Child. Child, this article got Martell down to a science. He acts like you all are still together. This creep will actually be surprised you've moved on, claiming you two are still dating. Now, this security guy, she ain't even dating, but he is just so possessive of Melody. He don't want no man around her. Since the narcissist rarely gives closure conversation, many loose ends were left hanging. He'll weave those together to assert you are cheating on him with the new guy and that any problems are your fault. This gaslighting behavior undermines your sanity and continues the cycle of abuse even though you've left him. Crazy. That is just crazy. Let's see what some more people think about what Martell, you know, is doing with this situation with Melody. One person says Martell wants to attack Mel through her mom. Just pitiful. He didn't have a parent at home, so he doesn't know what a good mama is. I know that's right. Because we know where she was at. She was probably at the liquor store. You need to work at a liquor store much as you be drinking. <laughs> Remember what Tupac said at uh, Poetic Justice about Aisha? Don't be mentioning no names. <laughs> 
Another person says, this B-A-N just won't stop. He's just mad that Melody is successful in whatever she does, and he's broke, broke. I believe most of what he filed is a lie. He bent the truth. He's trying to turn the kids against their mom while he has the children around demons like Arion and Destiny. Another person says the whole statement to the court further confirms why mail requires security and that the restraining order against Martell requires an extension. Yes, yeah, she may get an extension. Mel should submit a counter statement that prevents Dusty from having contact with her children. I second that emotion. Given Dusty's behavior towards Mel on Love and Marriage Huntsville and the internet. Yeah, I would. I would get her ass away from my kids. For real. Everything Martell has accused Mel of, he's done. Martell has had multiple love interests around his children and has allowed Dusty and Belinda to post his children online. The children have been exposed to his relationship with Coleslaw. I hope the court dismisses his statement and tells him to go and have a psych evaluation. He's unstable and a risk to Mel and their children. He is attempting to tire Mel out and drain her finances, but it's going to backfire on him and his flying monkeys. You better say that. Another person says the court needs to block him from making any further motions. This is a pure waste of the court's time. Mel, having a man has nothing to do with her parenting. This is ridiculous. He needs to get analyzed, stat, and measured for his straitjacket. I know that's right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, honey, I will check you guys out in the next video.